What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Jim. And look, y'all, I got a special video for y'all tonight. Look, I'm about to prove to some of y'all what I was talking about. Um, for a lot of y'all new to the channel that like subscribe, but I a lot of y'all be seeing that you know you're always bashing 2K and things like that. Well, you're about to see a reason why I bash 2K and why I always talk about the experience. But you know what I'm saying? And yes, you could tell I have been enjoying the new game. Okay, if you guys haven't noticed, all right? But let's get to this. All right, so this is NBA 2K24 Next Gen. Okay, y'all are seeing this, right? NBA 2K24 Next Gen, right? Y'all see the game? That's the Next Gen. Next Gen NBA 2K24, right? Um. So you see how that looks, right? This is EA's College Football 25. A brand new game I just dropped a couple days ago. Um, I pre-ordered it, so I got it three days early. Um, and this is the experience, how it looks on the game, okay? Now, I want you guys to focus on, like I said, the overall experience. Are you getting a next-gen experience? Which which experience are you getting which when, out of both games I just showed you, right? This is the new game. No filter, okay? You see, there's no filter. You see how the you see how you're get you get the vibes and he was I was a 68 overall on this character with Drew Sprints by the way, um and by the way because you people kind of say oh isn't this the character where you lost the natty, um yeah you lost the natty but guess what I still had fun right plus it's East Carolina because you're gonna say oh why would you choose East Carolina to make your character go to East Carolina because why would you just automatically go to a top five school, that's what ruins the fun of a brand new game just uh, doing the best parts. Instead of actually having to play the game to, you know, understand the game, to have fun with the game, you're supposed to actually experience the game. I got multiple clips. I don't have about, I think I got like five Roads of Glory characters now that you guys don't even know about. Um, and I just be having fun. I could lose games, but guess what? I'm still having fun while playing. When I, when you, when I just showed y'all 2K, you weren't getting a next-gen experience out of that. And that game isn't fun, okay? It isn't fun. This game right here is so realistic like you look at the camera angle look at this i mean you're getting and then you don't hear no sounds because due to copyrighted issues right but they'll be playing music during the games the crowd will be loud like you get the next level experience of a product that you paid for right not even that but can we look at attention to the detail? Look at how EA took their time and said, you know what? The, this game is only going to be for next-gen products, not for both of them. You saw they just made one game, and the one game, you could tell they actually put their time in. Like, it's, it's like, look, like it's like, okay, this is worth it. You know what I'm saying? Next-gen level experience, you get the vibes of that when you play this game. Look at the look at the detail of the helmets, you know, the chrome. The, you can tell, like, they... They took their time with the game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just look Look at this. Look at this. Things that happen in real. You go to the sideline, start celebrating. Type. Bro, are we not looking at the experience of the games? So for one, two kept asking me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're always bashing 2K. Because when you play 2K, are you honestly getting a next level experience? I've been telling you guys, I said, when this game drops, and I didn't have to play it, right? I didn't even have to play it. I already told you, I was like, bro, when this game dropped, 2K is done for, right? Because this game shows you what a true next gen experience is supposed to look like. You see what I'm saying? Um, Black Ops 6, an another game that's supposed to be on the way. GTA 6. I want you guys to understand this real quick because I don't think you guys haven't noticed this, right? When this game dropped, right? This game right here. When this game came out, there was over 500,000 people playing. 500,000 people playing when this game dropped day one. Right, I don't think the game's out yet. I think it drops on the 19th. Today is the um the 17th. But when I got it through there's early, you know, because other people pre-ordered the game, obviously, right? There was five hundred thousand people playing, right? Next gen products only, right? How much people do you think are gonna be playing this game when the when the game is officially out on the 19th? How many? GTA 6, when that game drops, that's gonna break the internet. That's gonna break the world. That is gonna break the internet. That game is going to break the internet. You guys are know that. But again, can we look at this? And again, no, I didn't keep him um, at East Carolina, if you guys want to know. I, and see, I'm going to tell you my, my goals with, with, uh, with Drew Sprints. Yes, his name is Drew Sprints. Oh, how do you come with these names? Because I am a creator, okay? J-Mid is a content creator. And when I'm having fun with games that I pay for, right, and I'm enjoying the product, my creators 
you know, me being a creator, things come in my mind to where it's like, okay, I got an idea. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm enjoying it. Plus, I told you I'm a sports fanatic, right? So when you're a sports fanatic and you're a creator, it's like natural to you. I can come up with any name, right? And Drew Sprints is a tough name, okay? Now, like I was saying, um, the goal was, he's a three-star, by the way, too. You guys don't know what, what started you with him. I went the three-star route. Um, because again, I didn't want to just go five star, you know, my first character and I just ruined the experience for myself. Cause I'm going to go to Michigan, Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, those schools when, I'm, when I can actually experience with the game. It's, you know, why not be a three star and go to a team like East Carolina and try to give them an opportunity, right? Because the goal is on this game right here is to enjoy the game, right? And I was doing that. Why do you think I shoot for 10 hours? I just got done streaming for almost six hours, bro, playing this game. Right, and you guys seen the enjoyment, and you can hear the enjoyment from me that I was I was enjoying the game. Like even though we lo lose a game, play another one. You see what I'm saying? It's not like see you play 2K, you lose a game in the wreck. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about I'm about to get off this shit. That, like y'all know the vibes that I'm talking about. You play 2K right now, and y'all lose. Especially if you playing with randoms, you are gonna be like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to get off this shit right here, bro. I, I, I'm about to get off this game, right? This game right here, you can lose in this game. But you, you still having fun to where it don't matter. You be like, okay, I lost. Oh, well, I'm still having fun, right? Bro, on 2K, you guys are not having fun. And that is the problem. Oh, by the way, I just want to put this out there, right? Because there was a lot of people. There was a tons of people that was put in my comment section that, oh, you're 2K mid. Well, answer me this, right? Why is it um, the last couple of days where I have not played or streamed 2K ever since this game came out, my views have been the same um streaming and it's gonna probably be the same when i make this video as well right because remember when i stream 2k oh you only had a, a, a um you know content because of 2k well why when i streamed the other day i had i have 1.8 thousand views in my live stream right and then i just got done streaming and, and guess how many people tell me i had i had 838 people why is it that it looks like my community is growing when i got when i stopped playing 2k because people realize, man, hey, when Jay's enjoying the game, you know, it's fun to watch. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me snapping on people and things like that, right? Because I'm having fun with the game. But like I was saying, what the goal was with Drew Sprints was to go to East Carolina as a three-star and basically prove that he belongs on a contender, right? So freshman, I think he went and had like 800 yards, six touchdowns, because one, he wasn't a starter, he had to grind and work his way up to become, you know, a starter, right? That's going to take time, right? And in the sophomore year, he won the Heisman, right? Had a breakout year, and we took them all the way to the um, national championship. But the thing is, and see, this is why I like this game, right? During the playoffs, we play like a team like Texas A&M. Um, the quarterback, and I could lie to you, whoever the quarterback was, he was underthrowing, you know, Drew multiple times. You can see it in the stream, right? Underthrowing him. But, you know, it's East Carolina, so it's not a shocker right um but he ended up getting hurt the quarterback that we had he ended up getting hurt to where we had a red shirt freshman had to play in the national championship not only that you had some offensive linemen as well get injured you had some defensive linemen go down right before the national championship so we played national championship against oregon we lost by like i think it was 33 to 41 a lot of people were like bro you just lost the natty like that's such an l and i'm like okay but it's east carolina you see what i'm saying you know, when does East Carolina ever make something, you know, even to make the playoffs? See what I'm saying? When do they ever, you know, I ain't going to bash East Carolina, you know what I'm saying? But just off of the history that I'm going off of, when has East Carolina ever done anything historical like that? See what I'm saying? That was my point. So I was trying to go there and make a name for Drew, right? Because, you know, when have they ever had a player like that? The last time they've had a receiver like that that's go crazy, I believe, is Justin Hardy. And I believe um, Zay Jones. I think you guys know who that is. If you guys watch football, you guys know who those players are. Um, those are the only receivers I remember who played over there. Um, but, yeah, why not take a three-star receiver? And, by the way, he is 6'5", 220, right? You know, three-star. So I didn't make him like, oh, he's a 6'5", five, five-star. No, 6'5", 220, three-star wide receiver and had to earn it. You see what I'm saying? Had to earn his spot and rotation and things like that, right? But, like I said, the goal was, you know, show that he belongs on a contender. One night, he won his Heisman. Drew won the Heisman his second uh, season as a sophomore. I think he had like 12 touchdowns, over 2,000 yards, something like that, 200 catches, something like that. Um, he ended up I ended up transferring Drew to Ole Miss. Now, the goal was to either go to Kentucky or Oregon, but after losing to Oregon, I didn't want to put no KD, right? 
and Kentucky had they didn't have no spots available. Um, and Ole Miss really wanted Drew, so I was like, you know, we want to. I want to prove that Drew belongs on a contender, especially on a team that's you know goes against actual talent, SEC material, right? And Ole Miss does that. But again, you guys are seeing in the background with no filter, by the way, no filter, that you get the next gen vibe when playing this game. And for once, you're gonna say, well, how can you confirm and things like this about 2K25? You don't know about 2K25 because it hasn't even dropped yet. Well, like I said before, right? And I've said this numerous, but if you're new to the show, I'm gonna say it again. What was the previous information that 2K just dropped you about 2K25 that was already in NBA 2K24 and NBA 2K23? Not to mention NBA 2K22, if I'm correct. Was it City in NBA 2 I don't know, right? But they announced the City being back and Pro Play, right? So going off those two things, you know, it's nothing new, right? Um, but this game right here is a brand new game. Um, it's a brand new experience. Like, look, y'all. I mean, look at the game, okay? Look at the game. We were losing 3-20. to 20. I told you, this is his freshman year, by the way. Now, I don't have all of his highlights in this video because it would have been like almost an hour-long video. Um, and, you know, I just don't want to make this an hour-long video because, you know, I have tons of content that you guys have yet to see about this game. Like, I have been having so much fun on this game, okay? And Dynasty, we still got content about that. That's supposed to be dropping as well. But, you know, I've been having so much fun with just Road to Glory. And that's the thing. See, this is the thing I said. I said, bro, when EA drops this game, right, I was even saying, I was like, I'm not even going to be playing online. I'm going to just be playing Road to Glory because I'm having so much fun with the game right let me take some water real quick right and you can see by the way we weren't no 99 because i believe there's like a glitch out to where you could be like a 99 over or something like that or get a, all little points we were a 70 or we didn't do nothing we played the game the right way and just earned us by rotation right like i was saying y'all you see we'll be having fun playing the game Okay, um, now with in this, uh, you know, free time, you know, I do owe you guys this to read some of y'all comments because I have been getting a lot of comments from you guys. Um, and it's only right because you guys are the reason why we are here, you know, due to your support, you know, due to y'all showing up to the streams and videos, things like that, and hitting the like button. Also, let's try to get 25 likes in this video. I know you guys can do more than that, but you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all's love support. Um, so let's get to the comments, you know, before we end this video. Okay, now, like I said, the way we do, th do things on this channel. We read every comment that I see on here. So we don't get to your comment. It is not we ignored the comment. Just didn't get to it. So we have a comment from uh, Talib's World. Four hours ago, he says, you know you're getting 25. Stop the cap. Um, no, I'm not getting 25. <laughs> I, I'm not getting 25. Um... Like I said, um, when you guys play NBA 2K25, you guys come holler at me and tell me if you're having fun with the game or if you're getting that next level experience, okay? Uh, but throughout to this comment, I'm not getting 2K25. Um, you guys can get 2K25. Um, I will sit and watch from a distance um, because I'll be on Black Ops 6. And uh, when, before you know it, you know, GTA 6 will be on the way, being almost being out. And I told you when GTA 6 drops, you know, that's going to break the internet. You see what I'm saying? That's going to break the world. Um, now we got a comment from RPG. I still play 2K23, dog. I ain't buying another one ever again. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you whatsoever. Um, it's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it anymore. All right. Um, but I appreciate that comment, RPG. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's too, but I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Buying NBA 2K right now, it's not worth it no more. Look at what I just showed you in the beginning of the video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the beginning of the video, I showed y'all NBA 2K24, right? I'm comparing the so-called, because this is next-gen experience, right? Notice how I compared the two. I showed you NBA 2K24, right? And I showed you this game. Both next-gen games. What game looks more next level? You see what I'm saying? Like you are actually playing the game, actually in the game. You see what I'm saying? Um, you guys already know the obvious answer to that. Uh, Zay says hop on the stream. Uh, just streamed literally a couple hours ago.
Um, if you guys want to know, I'm mean, again. I really do appreciate y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, because a lot of people are saying that you know you're not you're gonna only play a true 2K, and it's like nah. I told you when this game came out, I was gonna be on this game heavy. Um, let's get to the next comment again. Appreciate y'all for the comments. Hold on. Try not to, you know, I had a hiccup real quick. So we have a comment from Rondo 200. Where Drew Sprint's at? Hey, man. Drew hit the transfer portal. He at Ole Miss. At Ole Miss, man. That's where he at. Now we got a comment from Rondo again. What a dope stream yesterday, gang. Between the first and second stream, you did like 3,000 views yesterday. Was entertaining the whole time. Content was dope. Vibes was dope. Let's keep that going. Gang, keep grinding, Jay. Keep it. Hold on. It, it's like, you know, a little thing in the typing. This might be a breakthrough. Hey, look, man. Like I said, this is what happens when you have a game that is worth it. See what I'm saying? You guys see an experience for me that some of y'all probably never, like, ever see me having fun on a game. Because some of y'all used to seeing me crash out. You know what I'm saying? But this game, y'all, right here. It's next level. It's next level. Okay. It's next chain. And it's definitely worth it. Like I said, whoever was a dev on this game right here, right? That worked on this game. Shout out to them devs because you can tell, like I said, they actually took their time with this game, with everything. Not only the uniforms, the gameplay, the to the, the crowd, the jerseys, everything. Even the refs. Sometimes they call flags, which is supposed to. The celebrations, everything. You can tell they took their time with the game to say, you know, we're going to actually detail things to where they're supposed to be, how it is in real life, how the game is fast in real life. That's how this gameplay is going to be. And I'm not going to lie to you. There's an issue with, um, you know, pass blocking in every mode. I don't know if some of you guys noticed it, but you can have uh, defense linemen that are not really rated so high and they're all of a sudden turned into 99 overalls. Um, it's kind of irritating because especially you're like, okay, my offensive linemen are, you know, decent players. Why can't they block, right? Um, but that's only an issue. because the run And how I know it's an issue with the game, because um, when you run the ball, they run block really well. But in, this, in any mode, the, they just don't pass block. Um, but like I said, you know, it's that's just some small bug. Um, other than that, you know, every game is going to have some, you know, issues. But like I said, this game is definitely worth it. I have not played this... I, I have not gotten on this game and been like, yeah, I'm about to get off this game. I've gotten, you know, I've been on the game for hours where I, you know, I'm about to get some sleep. But I haven't gotten pissed off playing this game because, you know, I'm having fun with the game. Right? Um, and that's the whole goal of playing a game. You're supposed to enjoy the game. Experience the game. And that's what we've been doing on this game. Right? Let's get to another comment. Again, appreciate Rondo for that comment, by the way. Um, here we go. Don't buy 2K, please. Don't support this BS or they pro pass scam. Trust me, I'm not. I'm done with 2K for now. Um, I'm done with 2K for now. Um, that was a comment from Ty Mills. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely done with 2K for now. And you guys know why. Um, like I said, you're not getting that next level experience. And then. Let's also put this in perfecto, all right? Let's put this. Let's put this in perfecto. You play two K, right? The game costs what seventy dollars. You make a build, right? The build gonna cost you about because you got to spend VC to get the build up there, right? The build gonna cost you about a hundred something dollars, something like that, or probably eighty something dollars, right? And then two K goes out their way. They go out their way, patch the game without letting the community know. So where you end up that you spent money on is kind of useless now because the recent patch that they have yet to really tell us about, um, it affects the build that you made, right? So basically, you just wasted money on a build. That's what, that's why people say don't spend money on builds the first week of 2K because 2K patches, they patch the game so much to where your build is going to get messed up because they're going to touch the game, right? But on this game right here, um, you don't have to pay for no build. Right. You can create any build you want, except for, you know, safeties and defensive ends and, you know, tight ends, which is probably going to be the next one. Right. Um, but, you know, it's OK because the gameplay and the game is it's fun. See what I'm saying? Fun. Right. Um, but like I said, bro, 
that's what you're supposed to get when you play this game enjoyment excitement right um let's get to the comment um lmao rants about nba 2k24 being the worst 2K game ever never playing it again to playing it again only uh real gamers know um but that video was from months ago you're talking about the video where i said um you said uh i'm deleting nba 2k24 um will it age well <laughs> i'm done with 2k i'm telling you i'm done with 2k I trust me, I'm done with 2K. Yeah, I'm done. And y'all know what it is. <laughs> That's why he said real gamers know, right? Like right now, currently, 2K is not on my console. It's, it's really not on my console. I promise you it's not. Um, but like I said, um, for right now, it ain't getting downloaded. Um, 25, not pre-ordering it. Um, look at the stuff they said in the pre-order information that you're getting. A Jason Tatum jersey. Oh my goodness, I need that. A Jason Tatum basketball. I need that, right? You will get a Jason Tatum hoverboard. Like, and again, no, no disrespect to Jason Tatum. Yeah, I get it. He's a good player. Just want to chill, right? But these are rewards that are were previously in the a previous 2Ks. That 2K is trying to make it seem like it's brand new. And it's like, dog, so you mean to tell me after what 2K24 looked like, right, which was a rinse and repeat, you guys basically are going to do the same thing but just put Jason Tatum on the cover? And think people are not going to catch on to it, pretty much. And you're going to, you know, oh, we brought the auctions back for my team. You know, that's new. That's not new. That's been in the game. You guys took it out of the game for some reason because people were spending money on buying, you know, coins and stuff like that, if I'm correct. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? You know, stop letting 2K fool you, right? Um, and if you have 2K right now pre-ordered, uh, good luck. And I want y'all to tell me, right, when the game does uh, release, right, um, to let me know how, how you how you feel about the game because there's a lot of people that be telling me you know you oh oh I don't care I'm gonna pre-order 2K that's great but do not go to my video don't go to my live streams or my video or my channel and comment man Jay I can't play 2K25 I can't do it because remember you were the same one saying right I'm just saying in general people do this they were the same one saying you know I don't care I'm still gonna pre-order it right you're the same one right instead of holding yourself to a standard holding yourself to accountable to where you know bro am i really enjoying the game or is it because the game is popular for two weeks right to where i gotta get it knowing they're not gonna really try to prove nothing knowing they're still making two games i'm still gonna get the game because it's gonna be popular for about two weeks right i'm gonna try to you know do a little bit something with the game right and then reality i'm not enjoying the game so you basically wasted your money and your time pretty much Right, and if you did want to make videos and content, how would you be able to do that on a game that you're not having fun on? So these are the things that I'm that's saying. If you guys, when you guys do get that, I want you guys to come back to me and keep the same energy, okay? Because when I'm on, you know, Black Ops Six or whatever you want to call it, and I'm, you know, doing what I'm doing, I don't want to see. Nah, Jay, I, I can't play 2K, bro. Y'all the same. Some of y'all the same one saying y'all like 2K. Why do you think I made so much rants about 2K? Trust me, like I said, deep in my heart, I care about 2K. It's something I grew up watching in my childhood, right? Like I said, he all American, nine touches, 800 yards, like I told y'all, right? But the reality of the situation is, is 2K trying to improve? No, right? But did EA try to improve this game? Of course. Has it shown? Of course. Um, are you looking at the experience? Of course. Is it worth it? Of course. And I pre-ordered this game so I think like what a hundred and hold on, I gotta get another I gotta get another bottle of water by the way too. I don't know I got like the hiccups. I don't know why I got the hiccups, but you know this happens when I talk fast in my videos. By the way, but like I was saying, I pre-ordered this game. I pre-ordered this game for about a hundred and three or a hundred and five, I think, or something like that, and it's definitely worth it. Um, you guys see the experience in the background. Um, it's all there, right? But this is what happens, in my opinion, when you make one game for consoles that deserve it consoles that have been out for the last four years or you could argue five years now to where there's no excuse for somebody to not have a ps5 bro whatever you want to call it or i don't i don't know what the xbox so is it called an xbox series i don't know what it's called but there's no excuse to why folks now don't have a ps5 um because like i said you know there's it's been years bro it's been year after year um but yeah let's just get to the comment um so now we're coming from uh last gen amen my brother all about the vibes uh for real 
Yeah, it, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's all about enjoying the game, bro. When you, for anybody that wants to be a streamer or, you know, a content creator, understand this. You want to enjoy it, okay? Now, like I said, not everybody is like me. Not not everybody is competitive like me. That's why when I play this game, when I live stream this game, I'm, you know, I get hyped and small things like that. People are like, bro, you just got a first down. But, you know, I love sports. So not everybody's not going to like sports like me, right? Not everybody's really going to have the same energy like J-Mid, right? But... What everybody is supposed to be able to do is at least enjoy the product that they that they paid for, correct? So if you paid for a game that cost you seventy dollars and you spent an extra hundred dollars on a build that is going to be patched, how are you enjoying that game? Um, but let's get to this comment though. And again, appreciate that comment from last year, by the way. Um, you know the specs. Um, now we got another comment. From Sammy Mack two days ago. I felt the pain in your voice, LMAO. That shit is torture, trying to stay on the game. And then when you are playing it, the bad players get rewarded while the good guys get penalized. Facts. That's why I said, bro, you cannot play that game. The game will have you crash out. Not even in an hour, okay? But that's the experience of NBA 2K24, right? So if that's the experience of NBA 2K24, right, chat? What do you guys think the experience of NBA 2K25 is going to be? Right? But like, let's think about that real quick. If the experience on 24 is it pisses you off that fast, what do you think the experience is going to be on 2K25? I'm just asking a question, right? Uh, but yeah, I appreciate the comments, me, Matt. Um, you know, and that problem that you just typed, it could have been, it could have been solved. But not even solved, it could have been at least looked at. You see what I'm saying? And in this game right here, you can get injured in between games, right? But it's still fun. See what I'm saying? It's fun. Imagine if you can, your mouth play gets hurt in 2K. Bro, you're not playing the game because you're, you're not having fun on the game, right? That's why I also said 2K is a dangerous game, bro. Hold on, two seconds. Let also, let me, I'm about to give me another bottle of water. I ain't glad to y'all, bro, because I don't know. I got the hiccups or something like that. Um, well, give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. I'm about to go grab me a bottle of water, bro. A second. You got it. You want to try the video? I was in the video. I mean, the video almost over now. It's like 20 minutes. I want to see my mid chat. Hey guys, I have my hair done today. Oh, so can you? I have a question. Can you tell them how much I've been enjoying this game? Oh my gosh, this boy has been loving this the game. Young man has been loving the game. You asked me to tell him. Go ahead. He has been loving the game. <laughs> Seriously. Um, Jordan has been in this room. I want to say it was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Tuesday. So I just got back home from getting my hair done to now. Mm -hmm. And he comes out for air, a bottle of water. And possibly a hamburger. And he goes right back in. So Hold on. But I did tell my chat as I said, when this game drop, I'm gonna love this game. Um, because I'm getting a lot of new people and they're like, I never seen you this happy playing so the is game. Is the game really, really good? Is yeah. Nice? Okay. You get like look, it's almost like you're playing in real life. Look. Mm -hmm. You see the game? Mm -hmm. It looked realistic. It's worth it. It's a next gen product, though. That's what I was talking about in the video. Okay. So, do the players move and maneuver the way how you expect them to when you're mm -hmm. when you're handling them? Hmm. Like when you throw, when you go to throw. A I'm only controlling one player. This is right. I'm playing Road to Glory, meaning one character, right? Uh -huh. So I can only control Drew, not everybody else. And I named him. His name is Drew Sprint. I I gave him that name, by the way. Okay. Um. But yeah, I'm only controlling him. Um, not everybody else. Okay, so then 
the way how the rest of the team reacts to him, how does that make you feel with this version of the game? I love it because it's realistic. Uh, college football now is fast. It's fast paced. Okay. Wait, look, watch this right here. I remember this for myself right oh, here. It's chat. raining on this one. Yeah, you can see the weather effects and everything mm -hmm. like that. You see how like the, the, the crowd noise and everything like that? It's the actual experience. Okay. He's not going to catch him. Oh, no, they caught him. When did they get him? Well, right here, this guy caught him. Mm -hmm. But he still got the touchdown. Look at the graphics on the game. I'm about to say the people look real on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. So when this, you, is, this is only um, college games. Oh, uh, this is only this is only EA's. They made this. This game is supposed to be out years ago, but I think like so soon. Like Cameron's team, Coastal Carolina. Yeah, he's not on Coastal no more. Shout out to D one by the way. To shout out to my uh, day one, you know, one way by the way. Okay. Um, but EA, what EA did was because this game has been out like years ago. The last time this game was out, me and Cam, we was like in middle school playing this game um so they they took a long time and the community kept telling them they wanted the game back and the devs that worked for the game they kept saying like you know they're gonna have to work on the game mm -hmm. when they worked on the game they made the game for just one game they didn't make it for two games like the best game i play mm -hmm. they never focus on just one they only focus on two because of money this game isn't about money this game is about actually enjoying the game and having fun you play 2k it's about how much money can we get the user to spend that's what it's about but when you play this right here, you don't got to, once you get the game, you don't got to spend no extra money unless you play like Ultimate or something like that. But when you play this game, like you see the stadium, like mm -hmm. the stadium gets loud, it's realistic, but you're also having fun in the game. You know, is there anything else you want to tell them? Um, well, do, does Drew team East Carolina, do y'all win this game? That is the question. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking you that, the, who won this game? Yo, yes, your teams win. Your team win. Yeah, they win. That's your team, right? That's the one you had? Okay, very good. Okay, well, now, well, I don't see the chat talking back. Where's the... This is a video. It's going to get uploaded, and they're going to see you in the video. Oh, y'all just... Also, I'm... So they're not talking back to me right now? They're, we're technically talking to them, but they're going to see the video okay. when I upload it. Well, guys... Also, hold on. Wait. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Fun fact. You know, like I said, I had 2,000 people on my live stream when this game dropped. Awesome. I just streamed when you got back, right? Get something for I had in there. What, 2,500? 800, for now. Oh, it might get more because I upload the stream to my channel, so people okay. can watch it after. But ever since I got this game, my viewership just went up. Mm -hmm. I gained, in the last few days, like you said, 127 subscribers. Awesome, real subscribers. That's good. Yeah, not my family. But you guys are like family That's to good. me, obviously. But we're talking about like blood. Um, I tell my blood family to not sub to me because I want real support. I don't want people to think like, oh, you had your family, you know, really sub to you to get you going. And I want real support. So I told them not to sub to me, right? Um, but, you know, my content has went up because people realize how much I'm enjoying the game. Anything else you want to tell me before you go? Yes, I would like to say to you guys, thank you once again for, of course, loving my boy. And, um, yes, he has definitely enjoyed this new game. And um, we haven't heard nearly as much. Hold on, crashing crash out. In. You can say crash out. Crash out? Mm -hmm. Okay, haven't heard nearly as much crash out, which is good. Um and I, I'm just really, I'm just always here for it. I'm very supportive of my son. I love you guys for loving him. I love you all for seeing the gift and the talents that's within him and his heart, which is a love of all sports, but he loves football. And um, just keep, you know, keep the name on your heart, J. Mid. Jordan Middleton, you're going to hear it in big places. Yes, you will. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Who told you to say my full name? Jordan, they know who you are. I call you Jordan all the time. No, you you don't call me that. They because they're not the other nickname, but Woogie Woo. That, but um, <laughs> you say my name. full name is insane because they be saying jokes about you know my last and things like that because they normally the Chris and whatnot. But yeah, I don't know why. I that's why I go they by J. Think you're related? Some of them probably think I'm trolling, but but I, I'm so I have to love my I mean, family for. Family, I mean, that's what I'm saying. What I got to love my family for? Yeah, but it's family. I mean, and you know, you guys have a you have a loving family, very supportive. Um. You know, he's doing his thing, you know, and mm -hmm. um, anytime we can see him when he gets close to home, we're there if we can be there. Um, he just had two surgeries today, by the way. Okay, so we'll keep him in prayer. 
Um, and we're asking the same thing for you guys. Just, you know, just continue the support. I mean, YouTube is something that you I know, love to do. Um, yeah, he loves to do it, but you know, it takes, um, we, I, but yeah, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video. Let me know if you about to cop this game. Let me know if you get into the 25. It's up to y'all. Um, but you guys know the true definition now, in my opinion, of a next gen experience. And that is EA College Football 25. Um, uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for more content. Hit the like, subscribe. It's your boy J Mid. You know what I'm saying? All love from y'all. Uh, love y'all, man. Much love to y'all. No homo type ish. You know what I'm saying? My mid. Love, love, love.